Hey, explorers! Welcome back to Orange You Smart Learning. Today we're hopping into the amazing world of one of nature's coolest creatures, the frog. Did you know frogs can drink water through their skin? Yep, no straws, no cups, just their skin. Let's peel back the facts and discover what makes frogs so fascinating. Where are frogs from? Frogs are world travelers. They live on every continent except Antarctica. You can find them in rainforests, deserts, grasslands, and even high up in the mountains. Basically, if there is fresh water nearby, there is probably a frog not too far away. Frog Habitats Frogs love places that are damp and close to water. Think ponds, lakes, rivers, marshes, and wetlands. Why? Because they need water to lay their eggs, and their thin skin can dry out easily. Some frogs even climb into trees and hide under leaves where it is cool and shady. Others burrow underground in dry areas to stay moist during hot weather. No matter where they are, frogs are experts at adapting to their homes. Body Parts of a Frog Frogs are amphibians, which means they can live both in water and on land. Their bodies are built for this special lifestyle. One of the coolest things about frogs is their big, bulging eyes. Their eyes sit on top of their heads so they can peek out of the water while the rest of their body stays hidden below. Frogs also have excellent eyesight. They can see in almost every direction without moving their heads. This helps them spot insects to eat and keep an eye out for predators. Another amazing feature is a frog's skin. It is thin and moist, which allows them to breathe a little through their skin as well as with their lungs. Frogs shed their skin regularly, and here is the wild part. They do not just take it off and leave it behind. They often eat their old skin for extra nutrients. Frogs are also famous for their super strong back legs. These long, muscular legs are like built-in springs that let them hop far distances in a single jump. Some frogs can leap more than 20 times their own body length. Imagine if you could jump from one end of the playground to the other in one hop. Their legs also make them excellent swimmers, kicking powerfully through the water to escape predators or chase after food. Types of Frogs There are over 7,600 species of frogs, each with its own special tricks for surviving. Tree frogs are tiny climbers with sticky toe pads that help them grip branches, leaves, and even glass. They are often green to blend in with trees, and some can change color like a chameleon. Poison dart frogs are brightly colored like red, blue, or yellow and very poisonous, found in Central and South America. Their bright colors warn predators to stay away. Don't eat me, I'm toxic! Indigenous people even use their poison on darts for hunting. But do not worry, these frogs are tiny and only dangerous if touched. Bullfrogs are big, loud frogs that can eat almost anything, even mice, birds, or other frogs. They are named for their deep, bull-like croak that sounds like a cow mooing. These guys live near ponds in North America and can jump super far to catch their prey. Glass frogs have skin that is see-through on their bellies, so you can actually see their hearts beating and their bones inside. They live in tropical forests and lay their eggs on leaves overhanging streams, so when the tadpoles hatch, they plop right into the water below. Each type of frog has evolved to fit perfectly into its environment, whether it is climbing, swimming, or hiding. Isn't that amazing? The frog life cycle. Frogs go through an incredible change called metamorphosis, which means a big transformation. It is like they are shapeshifters. Let's break it down step by step. First, eggs. A female frog lays hundreds or even thousands of tiny jelly-like eggs in water, usually in clusters called frog spawn. These eggs are protected by the jelly, which keeps them safe from drying out or being eaten. Depending on the species, it might take just a few days to a couple of weeks for them to hatch. Mom and dad frogs do not stick around. The eggs are on their own. Next, tadpoles. When the eggs hatch, out come the tadpoles. These are like little fish babies with long tails for swimming and gills for breathing underwater. They eat algae and plants at first, munching away to grow big and strong. Tadpoles have no legs yet. They just wiggle around in the water. 
This stage can last from a few weeks to a few months, and they might even hide under rocks to avoid hungry fish or birds. Then, froglets or young frogs. As they grow, something magical happens. Hind legs sprout first, then front legs. Their tails start to shrink and disappear as they absorb it for energy. Gills turn into lungs so they can breathe air, and their mouths change shape to eat bugs instead of plants. Soon they start to look like mini frogs. They might still live mostly in water, but begin hopping onto land. This stage usually takes a week or two, and clean water is super important for their survival. Finally, adult frogs. Now they are full-grown frogs that can live on land, though they still need to stay near water to keep their skin moist. Adults eat insects, worms, and small animals using their sticky tongues. Zap. The whole process from egg to adult can take anywhere from a few months to a couple of years, depending on the frog species and the weather. Most frogs have babies only once a year, usually in spring or early summer, when the rain and melting snow give them lots of fresh water. Metamorphosis is the big change that turns a frog from a little water baby, called a tadpole, into a land-hopping frog. It's like one of nature's coolest magic tricks. Lifespan of a frog. Frogs may look small, but many of them can live a pretty long time. In the wild, most frogs live around 4 to 15 years, depending on the species. For example, the American bullfrog can hop around for about seven to nine years, while little tree frogs usually live only two to five years. But here is the surprise. Frogs kept safe in places like zoos or as pets can sometimes live up to 15 to 20 years because they do not have to worry about predators or finding food. That is a lot of hopping birthdays for a frog. Frog fun. Facts frogs can sing. Each species has its own call, kind of like its own ringtone. For example, spring peepers sound like tiny bells, while toads might buzz like bees. The world's smallest frog is the size of a pea, while the largest, the Goliath frog from Africa, can be over a foot long and weigh as much as a house cat. Some frogs hibernate in winter by burying themselves in mud, and other frogs estivate. That is like summer hibernation in dry seasons. Have you ever heard that if a frog pees on you, you will get warts? Well, explorers, that is just a silly myth. Frogs can release a mild toxin or pee when scared to defend themselves, but it will not give you warts. Frogs and the environment. Frogs are super important to our planet. They eat bugs like mosquitoes, helping to control pests and prevent diseases. They are food for snakes, birds, fish, and even bigger animals, making them a key part of the food chain. Because they have thin skin that absorbs everything around them, frogs are sensitive to pollution, chemicals, and changes in the weather. Scientists call them indicator species, meaning if frogs are healthy and hopping around, the environment is probably healthy too. But if frogs start disappearing, it could mean trouble for the water or air. That is why we need to protect wetlands and keep our planet clean. You can gently touch or pick up a frog if you are careful and know it is safe, but most of the time, it is best to let frogs do their thing. Keep your hands clean, be kind, and always put the frog's safety first. So the next time you see or hear a frog near a pond, give it a little ribbit back. So, explorers, frogs are not just slimy hoppers. They are world travelers, amazing transformers, bug-eating heroes, singers of the animal kingdom, and clues to a healthy earth. Thank you for watching Orange You Smart Learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep peeling back the facts, one lesson at a time.